Using TailScale to remotely access your Asus Store NAS is so easy that you almost don't need a tutorial for it. But let me show you how to do it anyway. And this video is gonna be aimed at people either who haven't pulled the trigger on the purchase yet and want to see what the process is like, or people that are very new to NASs and VPNs and want a step-by-step -step tutorial. A quick but important disclaimer before we dive in, Asus Store have very kindly provided me with a Locker Store 6 Gen 3 for review and testing purposes, but they don't get to see this video before publishing. Stay tuned if you want to see an in-depth tutorial on this NAS. So let's see how quickly we can set up TailScale. This assumes that your NAS is already set up and you're logged into ADM. Now you want to make sure you have internet. I'm using a Wi-Fi disk provided by my internet provider plugged into the NAS. And that means that you can open up App Central and see which apps are available over the internet. Now, if you've searched the Asus Store App Store for TailScale, you might notice that there are two different TailScale apps. I've used both of them, and I would recommend the one with the black, darker logo. The title is just TailScale instead of TailScale in a version number. And that's because when I tried both of them, the one I'm recommending had a newer version, so it's more up to date. But I think it's worth noting that both of these are community supported apps. So neither of them is by the official TailScale team. So we click install. And if you don't have Docker installed, you'll see a little orange warning sign asking you to install Docker. This is incredibly easy. Just search App Central for Docker. You'll see Docker Engine. Click install on that. Click install again. Give it a few seconds and you'll be ready to go. So next time you click install on TailScale, you won't have that warning and you'll be able to proceed with the installation. Now we're seeing all green check marks. And there's an optional option at the bottom saying if you want to enable port forwarding. Now you don't have to tick this. And this is one of the amazing things about TailScale. It allows you to access all of the devices on your Tailnet without port forwarding, which makes it much more secure. So I'm not going to tick that and I'm going to proceed by clicking install. Now give it a minute or so and TailScale should appear in your list of apps on the home screen for ADM. If you click it, you'll be taken to the login portal. And all I'm gonna do here is sign in with Google. This is the account that I wanna to use to access all of my devices. You sign in with Google like normal. You'll get a confirmation message saying you're about to connect this device to the Tailnet. You click connect and you should see this login successful screen. And it was that easy. We now have this device that we can access remotely using TailScale. Now, before you can access the device that you've added to your Tailnet, you're gonna to have to download the TailScale client app on the device you want to access from. And so downloading TailScale on a Windows computer allows you to access everything on your Tailnet as if it's on your local network and it's as easy to install as it was on the NAS itself. Navigate to tailscale.com slash download. Click on your operating system of choice. I'm gonna use Windows here. Click download TailScale for Windows. Open up the installer and follow the advice that it gives you. You'll get a similar confirmation screen asking if you want to connect this device to your Tailnet. I'm gonna say yes. Login successful. Once you're logged in on the client machine, so the machine you want to use to access your NAS or other device, all you have to do is use this tail scale IP instead of the real local IP. So let me show you. So imagine I'm far away from my NAS and I want to connect to my Asus Store NAS, which is called Nazir Jones. If you know, you know. Instead of using the IP that's printed on the screen or the physical IP for the port, I'm gonna use this tail scale IP. So I'm gonna copy it, go to a new tab, paste it and you have to go to your usual port. And there you are, you're in your NAS. And this works whether you're on the same network, in a different city, 
or across the planet. You'll be able to access it like this and to your computer, it'll look like it's on your local network. It's also incredibly easy to access the devices on your tailnet from your mobile devices. So I've used this from my iPad and from my iPhone. The setup process for both is very similar. All you have to do is search for your App Store or the Play Store for Tailscale, download the app as you would download any other app, go through the welcome screens. You can allow notifications or not. On iPhone, you have to install this VPN configuration, which is how it works behind the scenes. And then you can sign in. I'm gonna sign in using the same Gmail that I've used for all the devices so far. You'll see the same confirmation screen. You can click connect and that's it. You can now access your device from even your phone or your iPad as if it was on your local network. All you have to do is copy and paste the tail scale IP address. Don't forget the port and you'll be able to access ADM and sign in as if it was physically connected to your phone. If you want to share your device with someone else, that's also incredibly quick and easy. You just hover your mouse over the device, click share, and you can either share using a link or by email. I'm gonna share this NAS with my editor, Maduantha, who you haven't met before. Say hi to him in the comments below. And he's gonna get an email notification which talks him through step-by-step step how to join on his side too. Hope that was useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, but I don't think you do because it's so easy as I've shown you. Thank you again to Asus Store for sending me their NAS. I've already put 140 terabytes of storage into it and it's been incredibly helpful for enormous fluid simulations. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see the full review, which again, Asus Store don't get to see before I publish. Thanks again.